Hello, my friends. Time for another word generated, random word generated story. And the word is pumping. Pumping. Okay. Let's, let's do what we can with that word. Pumping. Pumping makes me think of flat tire, automotive. I don't know, there's not a lot I know about how cars work. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not like freaked out that they do work. I know roughly how an engine, you know, what, how the, you know, gas cylinders condensed mixture, spark plug, pushes the piston, you know, I, okay, and I can change a tire, all right, so that's, all right, so I think this gives me an idea, here's what I got, a uh, little bit shortly after I graduated college, I think a couple of years after, a um, college buddy of mine, Bruce Lynn, great guy, uh, invited me to join him and a couple of friends and actually an ex-girlfriend of his who was going to go with him, strangely enough, to um, stay on the Caribbean island of Bonaire, uh, part of the Aruba, Bonaire, uh, Curaçao chain, the L Leeward Islands. Uh, I think they maybe still are Dutch protectorists. Go stay down there. Um, he, uh, a boss that um, was the boss of of Bruce. I know how to speak English. Uh, Bruce and his ex girlfriend Sue. They had broken up. Uh, their boss had a villa in Bonaire, and so a bunch of us went down. I went and I met them. And um, thing about that trip was so it was winter. It was like February. I flew down. They were all coming from Boston. I was coming from New York, New Jersey area. Uh, I took a plane down and I was to meet them there. I got down to Bonaire and it was, you know, beautiful, warm, sunny day. And um, I, you know, I, I was uh, holed up at a uh, sort of terrace bar that looked out on the ocean, the beautiful green blue of the Caribbean um, you know way down in the Caribbean about 60 miles north of Caracas Venezuela so this is about as far south as you could go and um, I you know drinking beers talking to people at the bar some of them had Dutch accents uh, just having a, a, a fine time and um, I kept sort of waiting for them to show up. They were my, my, all my friends, Bruce and, and the others from Boston, were supposed to meet me uh, at the bar. And, you know, the, maybe I was supposed to meet them around 1 o'clock, 2 in the afternoon. You know, 2 o'clock comes and goes. Now it's 3. Now it's 4. I start looking. I can see the planes that are coming in because the airport is a couple of miles away from where I'm sitting. And, you know, the people, the bartenders and stuff told me, you know, there's the airport right there. And so watching the planes come in, every plane that came in, I'm waiting, waiting for a call, wait, you know, waiting to see them. Actually, not waiting for a call because this was in the days before cell phones, but just waiting around and um, nobody. And, 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 you know, the sun starts to go down and I'm getting quite, quite the sunburn drinking beers there uh kind of befriended people at the hotel that the bar was a part of uh, i didn't have a place to stay i was supposed to stay at this villa with bruce um so nighttime comes uh i you know at some point i think i maybe even walked to the airport a couple of miles and it turns out the flight was just delayed it was kind of canceled because the big snowstorm out of Boston. 
So I'm on my own and I'm, I'm drinking beers and I ended up uh, talking to a guy who worked at the dive shop where they store like snorkeling and, and, and scuba diving equipment. There was an instructor there, a uh, friendly guy who let me throw my suitcase in there and they locked it up for the night. And, um, you know, fine. So I, I mean, I ended up basically, you know, continuing to drink beers. I had some little roasted chicken thing on a skewer. It was very tasty. I ended up going off with some people I met because I was just, you know, kind of grooving on the whole Caribbean scene. Uh, went into the interior of the island and it was nighttime and people, there was more chicken things on skewers and more beer. I come back to the hotel and you know I guess I talked to somebody there and they say ah, you just sleep on the patio here near the bar there was like um, some folding chairs that folded out into like a you know chaise lounge kind of deal for sunning yourself so I just you know as as night had come on it was kind of chilly so I, I, I had like a sweater with me because my suitcase was locked up in the dive shop so I just put on this sweater and I, you know, try to get some sleep and I, the beers like didn't agree with me uh, or there were too many of them or the chicken thingies. There was a, I had, I had overdone it, you know, with the sun and the sunburn and the beers. So I, I got up kind of in the middle of the night and, uh, and found a low seawall that I just sort of vaulted over and there was sand and I thought, perfect, a great place to throw up and I did that. And, um, and then I scuttled back full of like grime and sand to my beach thing and woke up in the morning because waiters, I heard this noise and they, they were setting tables all around me. I was like sleeping in the middle of a restaurant, an outdoor restaurant. Uh, but this is, this was inspired by pumping. If you, if you have not forgotten, pay attention. Um, so what happened is, um, in the next day, you know, I, I again, I ended up going to the airport. Um, I was still a little, little drunk still from the night before. Ended up sort of stepping in, sort of calf or knee length, knee height, clayey mud. I had long pants on, and got them all muddy. Trekked back to the hotel, went to the restroom, took my pants off, r rinsed them off. There was a guy there, looking at me, you know wondering what the heck was going on, uh, these Americans. And eventually I met my friends, they were a day late, and, and for the rest of that trip, they were like amazed because I seemed to know and have met like everybody on the island. Uh, that was one thing. And the other thing about pumping is at a certain point, we were sort of uh, bombing around in this old Chevy station wagon that the guy who owned the villa, uh, Bruce's boss, owned and we used it. And on the island, you know, everything was like recycled. And at one point I was driving out to some part of the island for some reason and um, the car just broke down. The, the fan belt just like failed, it, it broke. And some random guy who maybe had worked as a mechanic came along, saw me uh, stranded there on the side of the road. So he, he pulled over and he took out this yellow nylon rope cord and, and, and cut it like the perfect length and like braided it together to make like a fan belt and put it on the thing and um, wished me well. Maybe I gave him 10 bucks, maybe he didn't want it. You know, it was just, um, it, was, it was a pretty, pretty good time. Uh, I did some snorkeling, was happy, really happy to see my friends and the villa was quite nice. And uh, all that you now have in your repertoire to use as you see fit, which would kind of surprise me, thanks to the word pumping. Cheerio.